Hey guys, it's here as you do and to review the Kree O Dungeons and Dragons Orcs Crossbow. So uh this is the box here. So you can see it's recommended for just someone who craft and comes with two creons, which is the orc with the mace and also the knight uh pikesman. And yeah, um so this the set number is uh A7705 and yeah so um this is the top here and yeah it comes with uh 70 Cree pieces and yeah it's um by hot hasbro and yeah so this is the back of the box uh showing you how to play and all uh all the other sets and master the the battle and yeah but um Aside from that, that's it for the box. So this is the instruction manual here, and yeah, it's um actually pretty big, and yeah, so um yeah, they are instruction manual. They're actually um pretty cool. So yeah, like um all the builds, they are all just uh, pretty basic, and uh, this is the final page, and you also got these challenge cards thing, and you got the parts list. And yeah, uh, you also got advertisement for uh, the rest of the uh, sets in the series. And yeah, um, aside from that, that's it for the instructions. So this set also comes with this uh, game rules tough thing. And yeah, uh, you know, it just shows you uh, how you do it and all the rules. And yeah, but. Um, you also have uh, all these um, Creon cards, and yeah, so you got the Orc with Mace, and also the Knight Pikesman, and yeah, so there's the back, and it also comes with these uh, th uh, these cards, uh, which are for the game, and yeah, so um, you got this one, which you can use the crossbow to shoot the Knight Pikesman, and you also got this, which you can use the uh, crossbow to shoot the knight pikesman on the tower. And you also can shoot down the tower w using the crossbow. And lastly, uh, this set comes with a Creo brick, just like all the other Creo sets. But um, yeah, uh, so that's it for the cards and all the other side stuff. So first off, uh, figures. Uh, this is the orc with mace. Uh, so obviously he he is armed with uh this mace piece, which is a very very nice uh piece. And yeah, you can kind of like uh, move it around, and you got this mace part. And yeah, it does uh, look very nice. And yeah, so he comes with a uh, green base plate and. Yeah, so you can see uh, the helmet mode is um, really nice. It looks great, and you got all the spikes on top. And yeah, um, so uh, you can see his face. Uh, you got his kind of roaring face. And yeah, so uh, the torso printing, you got this um, kind of like armor printing, I guess. And yeah, does also have some light printing. And yeah, no back. Uh, torso printing though, but um, yeah, so uh, the second uh, Creon figure here is the Knight Pikesman So he's armed with uh, this um, Axe tough thing, um, you know, I guess it's some sort of um, pike I guess and Yeah, um, it, it looks um just like pretty normal, but yeah, it does look uh, nice So yeah, you can see you got uh, his um, helmet here, which is um I guess um looks um very uh like very similar to all the knights uh helmet design and got his angry face right there but yeah he's not a barbarian or anything but um yeah so um you can see the torture winning you got uh his um symbol there I guess and you got this wrap thing and you hit you have uh his belt and um yeah so it does have some uh, Lycran thing as well. And yeah, um the no no back torso printing or anything. And yeah, but um aside from that, um that's it for the night pikesman. 
So uh, these are the builds here. Um, so let's start off um, at the orcs uh, crossbow scene as it is the um, the main attraction of the set. So yeah, um, you can see it is actually just a very small build. Um, like the only special thing here is the crossbow part with the um, firing this and yeah so uh, you got these stickers right there uh, right here which I guess it's the bow arms and yeah you got like these are like the armor armor palings I guess and yeah you got this uh, missile tough thing and yeah like it looks really weird it's it's not really a missile but I guess um, you can pretend to fire it soon as you can remove it and yeah like um you have these wheels right here and you can roll it around roll it around and you also got these um these like uh tooth pieces and yeah they are there just for decoration and you also have uh this piece at the back which I guess you can put it on the figure's uh, hands but um yeah so how the how the firing this works is just um you know you you just press on these two things and they fire um pretty far actually but yeah I don't have any any big place to show this off but yeah um comes with three of them uh, obviously and yeah you can just fire them so yeah it is um it's really good actually it, it does what it does well and yeah it, it look it looks nice so that's it for the orcs crossbow so uh this is the uh, battle tower for the knights and um yeah uh like the only official name for this is the uh the battle tower but yeah, it's a very weird name though, but um, yeah, so um, right off the bat, you can see you got uh, this flag piece, which has kind of like their um, clan, I guess, um, their clan flag, yeah, I'm not really sure, or their like country flag, and yeah, like um, you got this dragon symbol thing here, and you can just put it on here, and yeah, it's not really attached that well, it's just um, going through uh, these holes, and yeah, uh, you drop out pretty easily. So yeah, but um, you got this platform right here, which uh, you can remove remove it because you got uh, these these uh, jumper pieces. And yeah, um, so here you got the, the wall. So yeah, the wall you got this hole in here, and yeah, it's all stickers, and you got all these vines growing, and you got a little bit of a design right here. And you got all these Technic pieces to connect it to like other bigger parts of the, um, I guess, castle. I'm not really sure. And you also got the interior parts. Um, yeah, I'm assuming this is the interior, but yeah, most likely. And yeah, you got this big sticker piece. And yeah, I'm not sure what this represents. You got two of these uh, swords right here. And yeah, this um, looks like a um, pillow to me, but um, yeah, it could be other stuff. I'm not really sure, but um, yeah, like um, aside from that, that's it for the Knight's Battle Tower. So overall conclusion of this set, so how do you think of it? Um, well, like the only reason that I got the set is um, for the builds, but yeah, uh, the figures, like I think they are okay. Um, yeah, they are kind of nice addition to your army, but yeah, they're just some um, there, and yeah, they're they are, like they are boring, but yeah, I, I guess um it, it's pretty cool to get uh, these figures, but um yeah, so uh the orcs crossbow here, I think it's um very nice, um like the function works really well. I like the shooting this, and yeah, like I like how you like shoot it, and yeah, like. Uh, the only problem here is just that it's um r it's really small, but um yeah it, it does work really well and yeah like um I really like the shooting function and yeah so uh the side build for the um, knights here I think it's also nice and yeah if you have the uh, castle big castle part then yeah I guess um you can connect it together and. Yeah, like I think it's a um, pretty nice uh, side build. Uh, you got big pieces, and 
yeah, like, uh, you can remove this and you can put him on top right here and get knocked off. So, yeah, I think, um, that's cool. So, yeah, overall, I think this set is, um, definitely a great set. So, I recommend you getting it. So, uh, buy some of the set down in the description box below, along with all my social media pages down in the description. So, if you like my channel, make sure to subscribe right here and watch more videos right here. So, that's it for video. Thanks for watching, and I'll be seeing you very soon.